Hey guys. Uh, hey guys. Uh, all right, so this video is gonna be a little bit different from my other videos. Um, I I said that I was gonna do a Q and A because I just got a million views across all my videos. Uh, obviously, some of you have been following me for a while. I've been making videos since January and um, you know the channel's grown from 100 subscribers to uh, like 12.2 thousand so I wanted to just do a video uh, where I answered some questions from you guys so I just posted on various social channels like my Facebook or my Instagram um, you can follow me there on my TikTok um, yeah and also on community YouTube community um, so I wanted to do a video. Oh shit. Sorry. Do you mind? Do you mind just getting this password? Oh. Hey guys, uh okay, so today's video is going to be a bit different from my other videos. I'm going to do, I'm just trying to unlock this phone. I had to borrow somebody's phone to be able to do this because I'm recording Najee, Najee space, done. Okay, so I'm recording on somebody else's phone because I'm recording with my phone and I've got everybody's questions on this phone. Actually, I'm gonna show you these cats before we get into the video, they're so cute. This one, oh. I'm just having a little beer, chilling out. It's almost sunset time. It's almost sunset time here in Paje, um, on the east coast of Zanzibar. And um, the reason, hi. <laughs> the reason I'm doing this video is because I uh, got a million views or I hit a total of a million views on this channel. And uh, for me, that's quite a big deal. That's a million people or a million times people have decided to click on my videos uh, that I've been making since January. I think uh, I looked at the numbers and it's something like 144,000 hours have been watched so far. And that's like 16 years of content that has been consumed, so to say thanks to everyone that's watched. I just wanted to make a video where I just answer some of your questions. And um, so I posted on my Facebook and on my Instagram and on my community on uh, YouTube and just asked if anyone had any questions for me. So I got a few questions back. This might be maybe a 40 minute video where I'm just gonna show you the place that I'm in and I'm going to start walking towards the beach uh, so we'll probably end the video at the beach and I'm going to go and see the sunset tonight so I'll show you guys the sunset at the end of this video um, but I'm just gonna yeah I'm just gonna start answering some of these questions but this video I'm not gonna cut it or break it I'm gonna just let it be free-flowing not like my kind of travel vlogs where I move from place to place and, and do a lot of editing this will just be just me and you guys talking, so there might be it might be a bit hectic. Um, I'm not sure if these cats are going to try and knock over my beer or something, but so um, okay, I need to get this guy's n n password into his phone. The kind barman uh, lent me his phone to do this. Okay, so first question. Uh, also, Phil advice on how to travel t to Tanzania and then onwards to Zanzibar as I'll be taking the missus and kids soon. Love from home. All right, cool. So um, my, the route that I took to Zanzibar was by bus from Kenya. I traveled, I originally flew to Kampala in Uganda. And if you guys have been following my vlogs, I've been taking public transport from Kampala to uh, to Nairobi, then to Mombasa, and I spent some time in Diani, 
and then I came down to Dar es Salaam and now I came across to Zanzibar which is where I am on the east coast of Zanzibar right now and um, oh no it's gone off again <sighs> Nad space okay um, so how to travel to Tanzania yeah so you can you can take a flight to, Z uh, to Dar es Salaam directly or you can um, you can take a bus from wherever you are if you're close by or you can fly I believe directly to Zanzibar there's two ways to get to Zanzibar from uh, from Dar es Salaam you can either take a, a flight and it's quite a cool flight actually I took it before not I didn't vlog it but I took it I think I'll take it back um, but it, I think it costs something like $85 um, but you can take the flight I managed to get in the cockpit next to the pilot so that was pretty cool so I don't want to squash this cat <laughs> um, but yeah you can also take the ferry so yeah there's a few options ferry is a bit cheaper um, but yeah make sure to book in advance so I had a bit of problems you could see in one of my vlogs trying to get on the on the flight <coughs> um, all right next question I'm gonna try and whiz through some of these and then I'll show you guys around this place and then start walking back and answering some of them on the way um, how long are you planning to do travel vlogs for um, I think I'm I think I'm kind of planning to do this for quite a few years you know five years I'm not sure what the future holds um, a beer. Yeah, I'm not sure what the what the future holds. You don't know who you'll meet or where you want to be based or if you want to stay somewhere for a long time. But I definitely know that I'm going to travel down to uh, travel down to Cape Town. I'll probably be there by October time. Um, and then. I've said to one of my friends that I might potentially travel to Germany to go to the European Music Awards, which is pretty cool. Um, sorry about all the background noise. Um, I told you this was going to be a raw vlog. I'll show you this place. I'm just sitting down, having a nice little time. I think this place is called Tipsy. It's around five, four, four thirty here right now. Yeah, so tipsy. There's a bar over there. Um. So, so yeah, I'll probably do it. I'll do it till then, and then I'm gonna go on another trip. Still trying to decide whether to travel to India and Pakistan or travel to Southeast Asia. I think Southeast Asia would be uh, awesome over Christmas time, and then potentially go to India and Pakistan in around March. So that's the current plan. And then after that, I'm not sure uh, how much longer I'll do it. That would be my one year anniversary of, uh, you know, quitting my job and focusing on doing travel vlogs done some other YouTube channel stuff before um, just live uh, conversations but that was like two years before I started doing the travel vlogging then I started doing the travel vlogging in January 2022 so this year and um, so by January 2023 that'll be my anniversary so we'll see how far along the channels come obviously I want to make it as big as possible before then so if you haven't subscribed Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Um, okay, so uh, next question. Hello, my brother. I have three questions that I need answers from you. Okay, so I'll take each question in turn. Can someone be paid by YouTube views minus people clicking on the ads? Um, well, okay, so uh, YouTube views, uh, YouTube ads work and, uh, you know, uh, this is basics but basically you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand hours watched on your channel and if you reach that milestone your channel is eligible for uh, to apply for monetization and once you try and do that um, you can yeah you can 
you can see whether you can get uh, paid to do YouTube videos. But I think this question is saying, what about people that don't click on the ads? So you can sometimes skip ads. Uh, so yeah, you can actually turn the option to skip ads off. Um, but yeah, I mean, people need to watch the videos. The more people that watch your videos, the more ads that get displayed, depending on where the people that are watching are based and what your video is about. That depends how much money you earn from the from the ads. So, all right. So next question: Who funds your traveling, brother? So I uh, I'm self funding all of this uh, traveling stuff. Um, I saved up some money. I did a long video called um, Taking a Big Risk in Karura Forest where I talked about <clears throat> my story. But in summary, I worked in banking for a while um, doing kind of management consulting, giving advice to banks on risk management. Um, I quit my job, started a startup, lost everything, went back to work, saved up some money and um, you know, I have some savings that if I live cheaply, I can probably uh, work or continue working on this YouTube channel and doing travel vlogging for a year or two. So I just think it's uh, kind of a long term thing to earn money from and you just need to be patient. And I've earned £2,000, but uh, so that's $3,000. Um, so far, which isn't uh, is a lot, but also not a lot for the amount of time and effort that I put in. But uh, I've also spent, I probably spent around um, 13,000 maybe uh, pounds, so $18,000, something like that. Uh, so yeah, you need to invest up front. If you don't have savings, then there's ways to travel. You can volunteer places for free accommodation and food whether that's at hostels or um, you can do like projects for, uh, I think there's a website called Workaway that I've heard about. So yeah, there's plenty of uh, ways to do it cheaply. Um, and that kind of brings us to the third question here is, can someone take YouTube as a full-time work to cater for his bills and daily income? Well, I guess it, um, it just comes down to how many people are watching your videos and uh, how much ad revenue you're getting, whether you're making money from other sources. Um, but YouTube, I think, is not a short-term thing. So if you're getting started and you don't have a lot of savings, either, um, either do it part-time and you can travel and work at the same time if you go to different places or um, or you'll have to start from your own city and just do it at the weekends, but there's plenty of time around work that you should be able to kind of, if it's something that you want to do, then you'll prioritize it. So. All right, let's, uh, let's, let's move. Oh, because I'm using his phone. I'm not going to be able to leave here. Okay. I think I have somebody else's phone. Right guys, let's uh, cut it there and, and then I'll be right back. I've managed to use my friend's phone. So I think I can, I think I can continue this video by walking and I'll show you guys, oh, I will show you guys uh, the route back to uh, the, ho the hostel that I'm staying in. Uh, it's called Drifters. So. Let's get on our way. I think I'll carry my beer. Oppa. <laughs> All right. Just gathering my wires. Okay, uh, how am I going to carry my beer? Okay, I'll just have to carry these both in one hand. Okay, okay. Alright. 
cool. Okay, all right, so yeah. Uh, Bumbo, how are you? Oh, wow, you're charging your phone. Nice to see you. Um, okay, so bills and daily income. Bumbo, how are you? Cool. This is a place called Tipsy. It's just in Paji. Pretty nice. The um, sunset is just coming, so. Beautiful, beautiful evening. Oh. Um, all right, so where in Africa have you enjoyed the most and why? Mm, well, uh, I've just realized I'm going to be walking with the sun behind me. I'm going to go and sit on this rock over here yeah um, I think it kind of just depends on you know where I'm at at the time um, the time I had in Uganda was amazing um, that's why I stayed there for so long met tons of awesome people and uh, yeah, I'd probably, I'd like to go back there for sure. Um, uh, I loved going to Murchison Falls. They have beautiful scenery. Uh, I saw the chimpanzees there and I went to some awesome parties and met some cool people and listened to amazing music and made some really good friends. So that was cool. Um, Nairobi and Kenya. Probably, I mean, I met some amazing people in Nairobi and partied. It's got a great nightlife. It was a bit soured for me by the fact that my laptop, my MacBook, got stolen there and I got robbed. Somebody kind of ran up and chased me and got my MacBook. So that was a little bit of a kind of sour taste, but overall I did uh, make some good content, I think, in uh, Nairobi. Enjoyed meeting all the people and... Uh, Kenya uh, on the coast is amazing. They have like a lot of seafood and I, I spent such a long time around Lake Victoria that yeah. it was amazing to eat seafood again when I got to Mombasa. And that was cool. Spent some time in Diani, which was fun. And now Tanzania, I love it. Oh, there's a car coming. Sorry. Yeah, Tanzania is amazing. Zanzibar is very touristic. So honestly, it just, I, I don't think it's easy to say, you know, what's your favorite. There's different places in each country. There's different, there's cities and then there's like, there's Kampala and it's super busy in Uganda. And then you go to Jinja and it's a little quieter. So yeah, I wouldn't say like I have a favorite African country, but I've definitely had like different experiences, different parts. And there's pros and cons. Some places are quiet, but boring, but you know, peaceful and you get nature. Sometimes you get nightlife in uh, the city or nightlife on the beach. But uh, like here, the when you go to different bars and things, the, the, the people that you're hanging out with are more kind of European tourists that are coming here. Whereas when I was in uh, Nairobi, there's more kind of local people just going out to party and stuff. So Honestly, it just totally depends what you're uh, you're looking for. I don't really have a favorite, if I'm honest. I know that that's not the answer some people want to hear, but it's the truth. Uh, what did I love most about Uganda? Um, yeah, I, I think I loved, uh, you know, the people that I've uh, been hanging out with. I made some really great friends. I did a few videos with a girl called Mago. Uh, She's kind of run schools or uh, there and uh, has a startup doing great charity work and uh, met some great YouTubers like uh, UG Connect TV or Grow with Harriet. Um, and then I just like, you know, had a good party scene and I met some fun people. So yeah, definitely the people and definitely the, the experiences that I had. Um, yep. I can see you started YouTube from Uganda. What made you start a YouTube channel? All right, I'm gonna move for this one. 
So yeah, this is the walk down towards B4, which is quite a well-known uh, place here. I'm staying in the Drifters Hostel, $10 a night. You'll see it shortly. All right. Let's see if we've got another question. What are your future plans from now? Five years from now. Hmm. It's a good question. Let me see if I've got somewhere I can sit down and answer it. I think I'll just walk you guys into Drifters, where I'm staying. That's the sign for it. This is the route from the road, which is just up in that direction. And I walk around here, I've been going to the, the gym again. Not related to any questions actually, but it's pretty, uh, pretty difficult to keep the gym going. I'm, pretty inconsistent. Sometimes if I'm in the same place for a while, then I can go to the gym and then I move somewhere else and then I move out of, or I get out of the habit. So it can be a bit difficult. So yeah, this is the walk into Drifters. I'm gonna just sit here for a second. The name of the channel is Unplanned. Um, I am 34 years old. So in five years, I'll be 39. I'll pr I'm probably getting to the age where I'll be uh, up for meeting somebody, maybe having kids at some point. I'm, uh, I'm up for having kids. I'm quite, I'd be, you know, I'm, yeah, I'm like, that's something I'd like to do but I'm not in a super rush to get it done in the next year or two years, so. But maybe five years, you never know. Might meet somebody that I think it would be cool to start family with when, in a five year time frame. <coughs> For this channel, I'd like to make it big and make it something that sustains my life so that I can continue to travel, show you guys great experiences, places to go, meeting people and uh, yeah, just making content, doing online marketing and uh, yeah, telling stories, making videos and maybe uh, start another business once uh, this hopefully grows. Um, I'm quite into building software. I built an app for two years so, and I've worked with companies to build technology so <coughs> Hopefully, uh, hopefully things go well with this channel, but you never know. Honestly, I've made so many life plans and then they've not worked out. So I don't really plan too far in advance. I just let work as hard as you can, let the chips fall where they may. And if you find people that are cool, then uh, keep hanging out with them. Because uh, uh, yeah, you don't, uh, you don't want to lose good connections. I mean, a lot of life's about long-term relationships and knowing people for uh, for a, a long time and people that you kind of have shared interests with and that you think are awesome people. So uh, I'll probably still have s some of the same friends when I'm uh, in five years time, 39 years. <clears throat> All right. How do you handle negative people mostly in the comment section? Well, oh, it's five, ten past five right now. <coughs> okay, how do you handle negative people mostly in the comment section? In the comment section, uh, if people are nasty or negative, to me, I, uh, I actually made a full video about this, uh, talking about <laughs> this, because I was getting quite a lot of uh, negative comments or, you know, ne mean comments. Uh, that video is called uh, Dealing with Haters at the Alchemist. So, 
Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Very strange place for. I know, right? The sun's shining here, though. <laughs> um. All right. So, how do you handle negative people? Mostly in the comment section. Well, you just sort of, uh, you just sort of think to yourself, I'm the one that's spending my time to create something for other people to watch, and going out of my way to create something that might be of value to other people. So, if people come into the comment section, I kind of listen, but I don't do it. I don't attach my self worth to <coughs> other people's opinions, but I listen to it and I think, are they right? Am I doing something wrong? If I'm doing something that could be better, then I'll course correct. But if not, then I then I won't. And uh, and that's pretty much it. But yeah, I mean, you just need to not listen to uh, the haters too much, really, because you're gonna get them. And if you're not getting them, then you're not uh, you're not doing anything that 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 is worthwhile i think because you need to put stuff out there that many people can see and not everyone's gonna like it so it's just the way that it is uh let me check whether i'm filming yeah okay we're good okay so next question uh do you have a second job or are how are you coping in East Africa for so long so hello hello you guys good going to see the sunset you think so well you can actually see it from there's a if you walk to the road yeah. you can take a left okay. and there's a there's a gym you'll see it you'll see the gym just behind the gym there's a kind of bar area and I think that they have an upstairs oh, uh, a little, little thing that you can sit and it's far in the distance but you can see the sunset Um, yeah, I was looking for it earlier. If you go right and walk to the roundabout, and then you take a left and you walk for 10 minutes, you'll get there. Thank you very much. Enjoy. <clears throat> okay. So, um, do you have a second job? How are you coping in East Africa for so long? Yeah, I saved up some money uh, while I was working, so that's what I'm using right now. I've just started earning some money from YouTube. Hopefully it grows, hopefully more people enjoy my videos and want to watch them and uh, I start earning money from YouTube. Um, but for now, I'm mainly living off of savings and trying not to spend too much money, which is why I'm staying in a hostel called Drifters. So I'll start walking. Yeah, I'm going to take you guys in there. Yeah, so there's a few little places here. Your Zanzibar place. There's a little bar in there. People are selling tops like the one that I'm wearing. Pretty much everywhere around Zanzibar. Ambo, how are you guys? I'm vlogging. Welcome Zanzibar. <laughs> Uh, po, po. Mm. This is Mayisha Matamu. It's a nice little hotel. And then the place that I'm staying is called Drifters. Okay, so next question was... I feel like my hair is all over the place and I've got sand all over me. Okay, so next question is how long does it take to upload a video? probably one of the most annoying things that I have to deal with. Uh, I don't mind uh, filming, I quite enjoy it, going out and meeting people and talking to them like the guys there or that I just met. That's super fun but and editing is quite good because you get to re-watch it but then the whole process of uploading, downloading from the editing software and then re-uploading to YouTube just takes such a long time. Especially because I'm filming all of the videos in 4K and uh, they're really long. Some of them are like 8 gigabytes, so it takes a long time. I can't wait until I'm earning enough money that I can uh, 
outsource some of that work uh, to, to other people that have more patience than me. Uh, how old are you? All right, so yeah, I've already answered this question. By the way, this is the hostel that I'm staying in. They have like uh, dorms. Hopefully no one's getting changed at the moment, but they have like <coughs> 10 beds in a dorm or something. I'll show you guys inside. It's like $10 a night. Yeah, uh, my friend Julie, whose phone I'm actually using, is uh, sleeping in there, so I didn't want to wake her up. All right, so next question, how old are you? Already answered this. I am 34 years old, which is uh, cool, I guess. Um, the reason that I'm starting my YouTube channel so late, I guess, in comparison to other YouTubers is because I had a career for like 10 years and I was working um, in banking risk management, like I said, and studied law. So yeah, quite late coming to this, but uh, feel super young. Okay, next question. Do you have children? And the answer is no. I don't have any kids. I mentioned earlier, maybe it's something I'd like to do, but not in the next year, not in the next probably two years. Um, I've got a lot of traveling to do and a lot of uh, content to make and that's what I'm super excited about at the moment. But I'm up for having kids. Uh, I like kids, they're fun. We, I've got nephews uh, that are awesome and I love being the cool uncle that travels the world. And uh, yeah, so. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can place this somewhere. All right, so next question, uh, can offer a scholarship? I guess that's, can you offer a scholarship? Well, right now I'm barely affording my own life and if I don't start earning more money, I am going to be asking people for scholarships myself. But hopefully at some point I uh, build this YouTube channel into a big business and I will be able to offer scholarships, but right now I'm having to do everything myself, so. Unfortunately not. <clears throat> okay. Uh, uh, okay, I've already, uh, this question's already come up. Okay, next question. You have invested so much time in East Africa, will you come back and settle? Um, I don't know, yeah, I mean, it would be awesome to settle here. There's, uh, I love the lifestyle, I love the people here, and uh, potentially, yeah. Um, but there's a lot more countries to explore um, and I want to go traveling around lots of different places. I thought East Africa would be a good place to start because, because I had been here before and I knew that it was a good place to make content. There wasn't a lot of content on the internet and I knew that I'd have a good time. Plus. I don't speak Spanish yet, and I thought about South America, but uh, East Africa, most people speak English, so that's another reason. Um, when did you decide to become a vlogger? Love your content, keep it coming. Okay, so I decided to, thanks for the compliment. Um, I uh, decided to do it, well, I wasn't even deciding to be a vlogger, really. I was deciding I was gonna make a YouTube channel and I thought it was gonna be a business YouTube channel, but I've ended up doing travel vlogs, which I enjoy actually. <coughs> but it was gonna be all about entrepreneurship. In a way, I kind of would like to get back to that, but I think I'll make that some of that content later down the road. But for now, I'm enjoying doing the traveling, the content, sharing my experiences. And uh, when did I try? So I decided to do it well, 
in January I arrived in Uganda with the thought of becoming a entrepreneurship YouTuber and then I decided to buy a selfie stick one day and walk out the door and before I knew it I was a travel vlogger so it's funny how these things happen honestly I didn't wasn't really uh, what I was thinking about doing but uh, you kind of fall into things that you enjoy and you keep doing them if you you're uh, consistently enjoying them <coughs> it's not really a question but I think you should come back to Uganda yeah I want to I want to come back um, but I have a lot of places that I need to go and visit and if I want to grow this channel into something that uh, people want to watch regularly from different places and build an audience then you kind of need to go to different countries and so you know it's a shame because I had such a good time there and I made so many good friends but at the same time I need to do what's right for building this business to make it sustainable otherwise I'm not going to be able to keep doing it so I think the best thing to do is continue to kind of move to different countries and uh, explore different things and then different people will find my channel and the other thing is you, at some point you want people to watch the channel for for you rather than for for the countries that you go to so hopefully some of the people that are watching this are watching it because they enjoy seeing me experience different things and it doesn't necessarily mean I have to be in Kenya or I have to be in Uganda um, to to experience it. So, but I will go back to Uganda. I love it. I didn't even I didn't get to see the gorillas there or Banyoni Lake Banyoni. So I need to go back. <laughs> uh, oh, this one. Why don't you answer your DMs? I um. Uh, hi. Are we going to the sunset? Julie is asleep. Okay. You're not interrupting me. I've been interrupted about 30 times, so it's okay. Um, all right, so why, why don't you answer your DMs? Um, I try to sometimes. <coughs> I do answer all comments in the comment section on my YouTube videos. And I try to respond to DMs, but Honestly, with the amount of work that I have going on, uh, with filming, editing these long videos, trying to build a clips channel, trying to respond to all the comments in the comment section, I just sort of made a decision that direct messages needed to be deprioritized. I've only got so much time in the day and I want to build kind of a real connection with you guys and I want to be able to respond to the DMs, but it's just uh, if I if I tried to be if I made a point of trying to respond to all of them, I would just get exhausted because it would be from all the different chat. Like it would be from uh, it would be from YouTube and it would be uh, or direct messages on Instagram. It would be Facebook. It would be uh, TikTok. So yeah, sorry if I haven't responded to 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 your messages. <coughs> oh. I've actually got a bit of a cough right now. Okay, um, I'm gonna walk to the beach and I'm going to try and get back into this phone because I've lost the passcode. Okay, so, uh, all right, I'm gonna walk to the beach now. Beautiful evening. Sunset is about to start. I think we'll go around the corner to the place locally. You can't actually see the sunset from Padgy um, unless you're up high, but I know a little place that we can see it into the distance. Otherwise, you have to travel up north and east coast to, to see it. So, <coughs> Humble, you alright? Oh, yeah, good. You? Yeah, good. Um, Okay, so these are the little cottages that you can rent also. Gets a bit windier as you get to the beach. So, uh, have you been to Nakuru? It's awesome. I haven't had a chance to, to go there. It's a shame I can't go everywhere, uh, but I'd like to. Um, but yeah, I'll check it out next time. Are you going back to Uganda? Yeah, I answered. Not sure if I'll be able to go back. 
very soon but I will go back in the future but I think I'm gonna have to continue my uh, journey down to South Africa and then like I said either East Africa or um, sorry either uh, Southeast Asia or uh, India and Pakistan after that would you come back to Kenya yeah I'd, like I said I'd love to come back to Kenya it's an amazing place to be but I just need to continue moving When will you visit Arusha, the genuine of Africa? I'm going to put this here. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me. Hope you like my top. I bought it especially for this, uh, this conversation from a guy. I'm going to do another vlog walking up Paget Beach. So actually I'm going to give this a wipe. Um, but yeah, I bought it for this, uh, celebration of a million views. <coughs> okay, so this one. Dude, your mischievous laugh cracks me up every time. Hope to get some tips on traveling through East Africa and congrats on the one million. Yeah, well, t tips, I'd say get buses. Uh, that's why I've enjoyed doing SLR, uh, SGR train from, uh, from Nairobi to Mombasa was fast and pretty cheap. Um, but yeah, you just need to find out where the different buses are and where, where they're, where they're going and whether it's a bus or a train, find out which one's the best. Flights can add up in price. So I'd be careful about that, but, uh, maybe you guys want to see this view. Yeah. Um, yeah, they can add up in price, but okay. Next question. What is your favorite place of all time? Uh, I kind of answered this before. I don't have real favorites. It just depends what I'm looking for at the time. If I want to party with tourists, then I'll do that. If I want to have, you know, authentic experiences with people that live somewhere, then I'm gonna try and be somewhere like that. It's not really about having a favorite. It's about what you, you want and you don't necessarily want the same thing all the time, so. Uh, which video do you have the best memories? Um, one of the videos that I did with Mama Uganda was very funny. <coughs> um, and uh, we had a good time meeting all the kids there. So that was a good one. She has 44 children. That video is actually starting to go a bit viral because there's another documentary YouTube channel that did a video going to visit her and that's been viewed like 2.3 million times. So, but yeah, we went and interviewed her before that and uh, that video is starting to get a lot of views, I think, because she's becoming famous. Uh, so yeah, that was a good, good memory. We, we bought her some food for all the kids, 44 of them, like I said. And uh, yeah, go and watch that video if you haven't. Okay, I'm going back to Kenya for three months. I stayed one year last time. Planning on YouTube channel on how to travel when older. Alone, a little handicapped, poor. I'm 60 with severe rheumatism and a small pension. So how can I do money on my vlog channel? How much are you doing a month when traveling? Yeah, I mentioned I've only made 2000 since I started in January. It's now August, 2000 pounds. That's $3,000 and uh, hopefully that rises. But yeah, you'll have to live off your pension to, to do it. If the pension is small, uh, you should take public transport, you should eat local food. Uh, if you've got d disabilities, um, yeah, you would probably need to get like local guides to help you tr move around, travel around. So you could maybe do content about, uh, about that so that other people can learn the challenges that you're having with, uh, and how you're overcoming some of those challenges with uh, traveling with a disability. I think many people would like to see the experience of somebody that's 60 years old going and doing traveling vlogging i don't think there's many people uh, around that age that are doing this so definitely something that's uh that, that that you should look into but it's not a short term thing that you're going to start earning a lot of money quickly so <coughs> um 
Okay, so this one's about how do I shoot videos without my phone being snatched. Um, I think it's because I'm looking at the phone. If my phone was in my pocket and somebody came and kind of grabbed it out of my pocket, then then it would be different. But I think I think it's okay because people people see me holding the stick. So I'm like pointing it, I'm looking at the stick, either I'm looking at the screen or I'm looking at the lenses like I'm doing now. So it's harder for them to snatch it without me noticing and uh, and get away. So, but yeah, I'm, uh, and also I'm, I don't, I'm not stupid about it. Like I, you know, kind of hold it, like my hand up beside it when I'm filming, if I'm going on a Boda Boda or something. But there's a few tricks, but not that, not that many. I might have just been lucky. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bit of a sore throat because I've uh, I jumped in a swimming pool the other night and uh, had to walk home in cold trousers, so my chest is actually sore. I think I've got a bug. Mm -hmm. uh, this one's, why are you not married? <laughs> um, I don't know. I haven't met the right person or... I don't know, why do you need to be married? Uh, it's probably how I would respond to that. I don't think anyone needs to do anything that they don't want to do, so. It's not a particular choice. I'm not against marriage. I think marriage could be cool for some people, cool for you at some point in your life, but not at other times. And totally a personal decision whether you get married. It's not, not something that you should do just because you feel like you should or because society tells you that you should. When did you start earning on YouTube, please? went to start monetization so it took me probably like two or three months i think it was i started you know end of january filming and i got monetized at the start of april <coughs> and i've heard that's quite fast so some people take a year uh to get it off the ground so it really just depends um can a youtube channel of less than a thousand subscribers and below four thousand view hours be paid if you get sponsors for your videos, then maybe, but I think that's gonna be a challenge if you haven't even hit monetization. And it kind of depends on the niche that you're doing and if there's many content creators making that content. Um, but yeah, it's pretty challenging to make money before you're, uh, before you're monetized and before you're getting quite a lot of views. Is there any how you can pay someone to make your channel to reach monetization? <coughs> I, don't, I don't think you should do that personally but maybe some people have done it and they've been successful i think you need to invest your own time and uh be committed and think for the long term to make something work um and if you're trying to just pay to get something off the ground um i don't know like that person how are they going to be motivated to continue making content are you are you paying them to present and then are the are the audience connecting with them or connecting with you? You can maybe outsource some of the editing to do, so that would be fine. Um, sorry if it's a bit windy, guys, by the way. Um, but yeah, I think that's a challenge. So I do everything on this channel. I, I film, I edit, I respond to the comments. I do everything right now. Hopefully I can outsource some of it in the future, but I think when you start, you need to learn all of the things and what works and what doesn't work. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it works for some people. <coughs> but I don't think it works for the long term. And I think YouTube is like a long game. Okay, and then does anyone require a certificate to do what you're doing? Um, uh, no. You can just, uh, you can start when you're 20 or 18 or 17 or whenever you are. Or you can start at 34. Like me, uh, you can start whenever you want and you don't need anything to, to get started, so. Cool, and I think I got one more question, which was something like, would I uh, would I marry an African girl? Uh, I don't actually have that one saved, I just got that today. And uh, yeah, I, sure, I don't, I, honestly, I would marry uh, somebody who I have a good connection with, that's smart, that's funny, that is, uh, you know, is, in, is a good person, doesn't lie, um, you know, that I'm attracted to physically and uh, that I want to spend a lot of time with and that I enjoy their company. So if that person is uh, African, from an African country, then why the hell not? Um, but also if they're from Europe or wherever, um, then that would be cool too. But 
you know when you know uh, and uh, I I don't have any prejudice and I don't think anyone should have any prejudice towards anyone because of the country that they come to, come from or, or whatnot so okay cool all right guys so that is the end of that is the end that's the end of this travel this video where I tell you told you about answer some of your questions yeah this is uh like I said to celebrate um, getting a million views on YouTube which is awesome given I've only been doing this for six months can't wait to keep doing this for the years to come and hopefully many more millions of views and people find my uh, channel before uh, well while I'm working on it I'm to be honest I, I don't see myself uh, stopping because I look back and think about all of the holidays that I've been on or all of the trips that I've been on before this and I don't have any memories from them and the fact that I have all these memories from these trips that I've gone on and these experiences that I've had and the people that I've met is awesome so I think I'm just going to make this a habit for the rest of my life and uh, not really view it as a kind of channel or a thing that I have to do but it's a thing that I should do to try to remember things because when I'm 80 and I've got kids and I'm looking back at my life it's going to be uh, sick so all right, cool. Um, thanks so much for watching. And uh, if you haven't already, hit subscribe on my channel, like this video, uh, share it with a friend if anyone's doing travel vlogging and they found if you find anything interesting from what I've said, then share it. And uh, peace. I'll see you guys in the next video.